Hey guys, welcome back to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. How's everybody today? We are doing well here. As you can see, the chickens found their little knoll that they like over here by the tree. It's one of the first places that the sun hits in the morning and it's there all day and it melts really quickly. <laughs> and they love it over there. That, and so do the woodpeckers, evidently, if you can tell they're, uh, they've pecked the crap out of it. Happy chickens. And happy me, hey, I'll tell you. 34 degrees and the wind's blowing, but not bad. It's just a breeze, but it's cold still. Um, that air is cold. The sun, you can feel a little of the warmth, but wow. Uh, I just got back from the dump and thought I would come out and check it out. The sky is gorgeous today. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And we're starting to thaw out a little bit. I can show you guys. Look at the backyard. Woohoo! Starting to thaw out a little. The trees are starting to open up a little bit so that we can get in there and tap them. We didn't mark them, so who knows uh, which ones we're going to tap. I know there's certain sizes that we have to, you know, the smaller ones we have to kind of stay away from, but. Uh, I'm sorry. I just got <laughs> distracted by the chickens. They're all over there in that patch. That just opened up. They're happy. Happy chickens. So anyway, I just got done. Like I said, I just went to the dump. And I'm going to go see if I can uh, clean their coop out. It's been a few days, so it's pretty, pretty poopy in there. So I want to get that cleaned out where it's a little warmer today. And I think starting today, it's supposed to get a little warmer every day, which is great. And the nights, I think, are going to start getting warmer as well, which is also good because um, that means the house will stay warmer at night if the, if the stove goes down a little bit. Um, so, but yeah, look at this gorgeous sky. Beautiful. And the sun's shining. Looking good today. Let's see what the outside temperature says it is. Let's see. It says it is, and you probably can't see it. It's almost at 30 degrees. It's probably about 28, 29. It's almost there. So that's not too bad. The sun feels really good. I came out earlier to feed the chickens and um, open them up and stuff. And um, one of the, the black copper Morans was out here sitting in the sun. And I was like, why are you just like standing there? And when I walked around the solar panels, I stood there and the sun was hitting me in the face. And I went, oh, I get it now. I see why. That feels really good. <laughs> So yeah, we're getting some power today. I'm feeling uh, spring ambitious. Um, a little thing that some of you that don't have a wood stove don't probably realize is that uh, over the winter, your wood stove creates soot no matter what you do. And the walls, if they're light colored, which ours are, um, they get like a nasty film on them and you can just see it. And I'm sitting in my living room last night and I was like, yeah, it's disgusting. So I decided today to start moving furniture around and washing walls and I wash, washing the windows on the inside just to get that film off. So maybe the sun will come in and warm us up a little that way. Passive solar. Um, and uh, you just wipe things down. Um, I'm not going to take my curtains down yet, but I am going to take them down and wash them too. So I've kind of started spring cleaning. It's kind of a big house and I've got to start somewhere and I decided the living room really needed it. So 
I'm moving furniture and wiping walls and it's pretty nasty. So I got to a point where I could stop and just let it dry and uh, move stuff around so I could get to the next spot. And I thought, well, I probably should go to the dump and get that done because they closed a little earlier today and, you know, just get that done. Sorry about the wind if there is any. You got chickens following me all over here. There's Yeti. Yeti, what are you doing? Do you want a date? He looks like he's on a date. I think he's on a date. He's trying to schmooze the ladies. They're all following him. He's a ladies man. <laughs> He's a good boy. He really is a good boy. Um, that bear short that we put out, that was, I believe it was last spring when we got that. It was either last spring or the spring before. Um, and so it wasn't recent. Everything over there right now is snow. I don't know if you guys can see over there, way over there. That's where he was and it's all snow and in that video there's no snow and it was warm uh i was working out in my garden here and uh with no protection whatsoever had no clue that i would need to worry the chickens were over in that area and uh started coming running out of the woods squawking and you know having a fit and uh, there were leaves on the trees, so I couldn't see what was going on. And uh, so I was like, what is going on over there? And I know once in a while we have a deer here and they have a fit about the deer. And they don't like him. He just likes to stand, he or she likes to stand around and watch them. Doesn't bother him at all. But the chickens freaking freak out. So I need to move out of the wind over here so anyway the chickens freak out anyway they came running out of the woods and so I'm like what the heck is going on so I ran out on the lawn to see what was going on and uh, I saw the bear come out of the woods and I was like oh crap and here I am standing right in the middle of the lawn like not very far from him and I was like oh shoot and I ran up the stairs and in the house, hollered to Scott, and I'm like, there's a bear, I don't know if we're gonna have trouble. And we both ran out there. It was, I put music to it and silent the vocals because uh, you really couldn't hear what was going on between the chickens freaking out and Scott and I just trying to get our, our, our poop together, so to speak. Uh, so that in case he decided to chase after the chickens or do anything like that. So we were just, you know, talking and kind of, there's a few swears there. It was like, you know, just trying to get situated. And yeah, so that's why that was silenced and there was music in there. Um... But yeah, I got scolded for not having something with me outside. And you know, I usually do. That day I hadn't planned on going out in the garden at that time, but sometimes the garden calls, man. I came out to feed the chickens and I was gonna go back in and have some breakfast and do my thing. And <laughs> I just saw the garden and I'm like oh, I just want to check a couple little things and like you know an hour later I'm like oh crap I haven't had breakfast I wasn't gonna stay out here I have stuff to do anyway <laughs> that's what happens with me anyway I get sidetracked um and I'm looking forward to that again <laughs> looking forward to getting sidetracked again do you guys follow me over here now too yettles what's going on dude you and you girls Crazy punk. Crazy punk. So that was that. Yeah, I forgot all about that video and Scott 
uh, said, hey, you know, I got that, that bear video and people might like to see that. So that was a little bit scary because like I said, I was out here unprotected and he was definitely interested in the chickens. I don't know if he was interested in eating them or not. Um, we have had, and I don't know if it was the same one, but we had him out here sitting on the bank behind me here. There's a bank there when there's not a snow bank. And, uh, he came out of the woods and was sitting there one morning when I came out and the little chickens, when Yeti was little, uh, and he had his, I don't know, five or six hens with him. Uh, they were standing in front of the bear while he was sitting on the bank with his feet out, like sitting on his butt like a person would. And he was just watching the chickens and they were standing there watching him making little noises. Almost like they were talking to each other. The bear's hands were paws. <laughs> we're going like this. And, uh, I was like, what is he doing? Teaching school? Is he telling them a story? Like, what is going on out there? Uh, and... Anyway, we try to deter them from hanging around. It would be it would be really great if we could all mingle together and hang around together, but that is not uh that's just not what happens with wild animals. So, um, you know, pet bear would be great, but it's not going to happen. So, we try to deter him and make him realize that this is not where he needs to be. Uh, we try to be very nice about it because we understand. I mean, we like being here. We know the bears are going to like being here. What are you girls doing? Look at these guys. Follow me wherever I go. <laughs> but yeah, we're thawing out, guys. Uh, it's starting to warm up. It's been so windy. I haven't been able to film outside at all. Um, the wind has been horrible, and it's been cold. Um, it's still a little chilly today, but that that sun feels really good if you stand in the sun, as long as the wind isn't blowing. But I think it is supposed to start to warm up 40s next week, I believe. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping. <laughs> and warmer nights, which will definitely help warm up during the day. Um... And that's about it, guys. There's really not much going on. I uh, still plan on going live on Thursday night at 7 o'clock. I'm not sure if Scott's going to make it or not. Work has got stuff going on right now. Um, so I don't know if he will be there late or if he will be uh, with me Thursday. But either way, I'll be there. Um, I'm not doing any guests this week. There was some shout outs and stuff I wanted to do last week. I didn't get a chance. I didn't feel good. Uh, I had a headache and I just couldn't seem to get rid of it. And my eyes were aching like crazy. I'm thinking it was just like a stress headache, maybe too much computer, phone. It's not TV because I really don't watch TV. Um, once in a while, but really not much. I don't know what it was, if it's allergies because the wind was blowing, who knows, it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm feeling better now. Uh, it took a couple days of resting my eyes and trying not to do too much on the computer and stuff. But I'm back at it and we're still rolling. <laughs> so um, anyway, so we'll talk to you guys Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time if we don't before then. You never know, I may feel like chatting with you guys and um, go live at some other time. Who knows? Just just for funsies. So uh, take care, guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and have a great day. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm.